Meanwhile, it is one of Kathy Wood's top bets, a technology called CRISPR gene editing. And one of her picks, biotech company Intelia, is surging this morning after a breakthrough in the field. Meg Terrell has that story for us. Meg. Hey, Deirdre, this is a pretty big day in the field of CRISPR gene editing. This is the very precise method of being able to target and essentially use genetic scissors uh, in editing DNA. Intelia is partnered with Regeneron uh, in applying this. And the big landmark that we saw in data over the weekend is that this was the first time uh, that the technology has been successfully delivered to the human body systemically. Previous applications have required either taking a patient's cells out of the body to do the editing and then return them or uh, injecting directly into the site where you're trying to do the editing, like the eye, for example. So Intelia, in a phase one trial, uh, just reporting six patients worth of data uh, over the weekend, showed that this can be done. And in fact, in trying to edit that gene and knock down this uh, protein that causes problems in this very rare disease known as ATTR, they showed an 87% reduction of that problematic protein in the higher dose. So this really a proof of concept for the entire field. And you are seeing other stocks that do gene editing uh, from CRISPR therapeutics to Editas Medicine, also Beam Therapeutics, which is a slightly different technology, and Verve Therapeutics up 25% there, uh, really showing that people believe this can turn into real medicines. You also mentioned Kathy Wood, that uh, ETF that she's put together, focusing on a lot of these CRISPR names, um, that one catching a lot of attention. But guys, on the flip side of this, Alnylam is a stock that is down today on this news because it makes a drug for this disease using a different technology. Investors may be factoring in some coming competition. However, this is just phase one. There's a long way to go.